Hi guys, Poundland is having a bit of a price war with Pound World at the moment because they've got shops next door to each other. So Poundland have reduced all their items to 90 pence. So I thought I'd buy a few things, take advantage of the special offer. I quite like these rechargeable batteries. They don't make stupid claims for their milliamp hours. They actually tell you they're only 800 milliamp hours up front. Instead of some of these ones you buy that say they're 2000 milliamp hours and find that they only last as long as these. So I'm quite happy with these. So that's two for 90 pence, 45 pence each. Got some reasonably good alkaline 9 volt batteries, LED bulbs, and then we get on to the real purpose of the video. I thought I'd do one of my old bargain store projects where I make something from items that I buy in the bargain store. I've got this clip seal container. got some food containers, they've got lids and well, I suppose you could call them buckets almost. Got some balloons, got some straws, got some bamboo sticks. I actually bought them about a week ago so I paid the full price for them. And I've also got these rubber bands from Poundland that I bought quite a while ago so they're not in the original packet but those are Poundland rubber bands. So I'm going to make a little rubber band powered car. Oh, I've got those straws as well, but I don't think I'll need them. So that'll be my wheels. That'll be the body. And that'll be the axles. And that'll be the power supply. I'm going to drill some holes through for the axles to go through. So we need to measure from the end so we get the same distance front to back so the wheels are parallel. Just need something to balance my pen on. If I drill the holes where I've marked the cross, they should be parallel. Now to drill the holes, they need to be a good loose fit for these um, axles to go through. So I think I might go and heat up a nail or something and just push it through. rusty old nail here. I've actually cut the head off it for a different project but it's a good old rusty nail so we'll heat that up and then we'll use that to push the holes through. speed the film up a bit because this takes a little bit of time to heat up. Make sure that your axle is a good loose fit in there. If it isn't and you might have to open the holes up a little bit more. Remember the nail's red hot when you're finished. 
so cool it down in some water somewhere. So that's the holes for the axles ready. We will need to add another hole at the front there for the rubber band to go through. And we also need to make some holes in these wheels as they will be. One reason for choosing these is they've got a mark in the middle so you know where the centre is. Now you could just use these as wheels on their own, but I'm going to use the whole thing if I can get them open. Gosh, you can tell how cheap and nasty they are. I can't get them apart. <laughs> There's one. Right, so I'm going to push a hole right through the centre there and through the centre there and then use the whole thing as the wheel. So I'll push some holes through. I might have to melt them again with that nail but they need to be a good tight fit this time. Melted the holes through, and like I say, they're a tight fit. It might be a good idea to cut up some straws and put them in there between the body and the wheel to keep the wheels away from the edges there. I've got a bigger straw there so that's what I'm going to do with that. Just about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, two centimetres. That's our back wheels, or front wheels, whichever way round it is. In fact front, because I've put the extra hole just there for the rubber band. I'll do the same at the other end. Looking good. Now we need some rubber bands. I'll join a few together.
push that through the hole. And push the other end through the loop. So there we are, we're joined together. And at this end, we could put a little hook on there or something to hook the rubber band onto, or you can just wrap the rubber band around so it wraps over itself and that holds it in place. Looks like it'll work. wind it up fully there and we did about six meters. We'll do the usual, see if we can get it to go through the kitchen. hadn't hit that I think we'd have done the full distance which is about eight meters there. And I'm sure you could wind the rubber band up a little bit more to get a bit more distance. Job done. Quick summary what we got here we've got a rubber band powered car inspired by the fact that Poundland is currently selling their stock at 90 pence so that's 10 pence off or 10 percent less. So I bought a plastic clip box, some garden bamboo stakes for plants, some plastic containers which had lids, and some rubber bands. I've also got little bits of straw there, drinking straw as spacers to stop the wheels rubbing against the bodywork. And all we did was melted some holes with a nail that I heated up and pushed everything in place. Quick and simple.